Okay, so now we've talked about iterative methods. So now what we want to discuss today is like the rate of conversion. So what do I mean by that? So suppose, you know, you have iterative methods and x star is the exact solution, right? And x1 is your initial uh, guess and xk plus 1 is the k plus 1 iteration. And now, you know, suppose that you start with uh, x1 and you know that the errors between your initial guess and the exact uh, solution is 0 0.1. So now we want to estimate how many iteration will take the program to get to some errors less than 10 to the minus 14. And uh, it means that we try to find k so that the errors at step ek plus 1 is less than 10 to the minus 14. And so we do it for two cases. Yeah, so first we assume that the method is linear conversion. And then the rate of conversion will be beta. And beta is either close to 1 like this or close to 0 like this. So now we start with the first case. So now suppose I have uh, E1. Then what is E2? So my E2 will be beta E1. Yeah, because it's linear conversion. So E2 will be beta E1. And what is E3? So E3 will be beta E2. And E2 is beta E1. So we have beta, beta E1. So beta square E1. Yeah. And so on. So now you have E4, E5 up to Ek plus 1. So Ek plus 1 we equal beta to some power of uh, some power here of E1. Yeah. So the power here should be K. Yeah. Because you know the sum of the power. So here 2 and 1. Yeah. Equal 3. So this one K and 1. So equal K plus 1. So now from this then you can find out k if you know beta, you know e1 and ek plus 1. So from this equation, you can find out, so suppose I take logarithm, so take logarithm of ek plus 1, then I have logarithm of beta k plus logarithm of e1, yeah? And so I have logarithm of ek plus 1 minus logarithm of e1 equal k logarithm of beta. And so from here, I have k we equal uh, logarithm of ek plus 1 over e1 over logarithm of beta. Okay? So suppose I have all the numbers here, yeah, so then I plug it in, then I have, so k will equal logarithm of uh, ek plus 1 is 10 to the minus 14, and e1 is 0 0.1, and I divide it by logarithm of beta, then, while well, beta is 0 0.19, 0 0.99, then I get out, in this example, k will be um, 2978.4, yeah? So it means that, <clears throat> so because the iteration has to be integers, yeah, and here, so we have to Rub it up, so at least, so in this case, we need at least a 2, 9, 7, 9 iteration to get to the errors less than 10 to the minus 14, okay? And for, for the second case, you know, you have the same formula, but different beta, yeah? So, so it will be logarithm of 
e k plus 1 over e1 divided by logarithm of beta again. So in this case, we have logarithm of 10 to the minus 14 divided by 10, 0 0.1 divided logarithm of 0 0.1 and you plug in the calculator and you should get about 13 so we need at least so we need at least 13 iteration and you see the difference is here when beta is close to 1. Yeah, the errors just decrease very little and you have to have more iterations than when beta close to 0. When beta close to 0, it takes fewer iterations to get to the uh, required errors.